Good morning. We are happy to be here at the Democracy Forward Seminar in Berlin, Germany. And I have two guests with us uh, today who are, we're so happy to have you with us. Um, Katie is from the Aspen Challenge Initiative, and we have Christine from the Stevenson Init Initiative. So um, I guess my first question is just, what brought you here? Well, um, I work on a program called the Aspen Challenge, as you said, and it's lovely to be here. So thank you so much. And um, we work with young people in the United States of America, ages 14 through 18. And so democracy and democracy in action is extremely important to us and how we activate that with the age demographic I work with. Um, it's typically not a voting population in the United States. And so there's other ways we exercise civic power. There's other ways we understand democracy. And that's why I'm here. And so I'm really excited to learn and share learnings that we have as well. Thank you so much. Maybe I can hear a little bit about the your initiative and how democracy questions interact with your work. No, absolutely. Um, so I lead the Stevens Initiative. It's a program at the Aspen Institute. Um, similar to Katie, we work with young people. Um, the age group we work with, though, is from K-12 all the way through post-secondary. What the Stevens Initiative does, so exciting, is we are a global program that brings young people together using technology. So we work in the United States, the Middle East and North Africa, Latin America, and across Europe. And we have our sites on everywhere in the world because the exchanges that we're building for young people help them build the competencies and the skills that they need so they can engage in democracy. They'll have the skills, the diplomacy, and I think the excitement to really understand what are the challenges to democracy that they're seeing in their own countries come together in global teams and address solutions to those challenges together. Mm -hmm. And I guess, you know, because you already have had this international exchange experience through your work, but are, of course, also here this weekend, which is, uh, you know, bringing together people from uh, many different countries. What are the biggest challenges that come up in those conversations for democracy that are similar, perhaps, across countries? You know, I think it's a, even initial starting point, I'll say, is I don't think people know what democracy means anymore. So even one of the challenges, I think, or actually not a challenge, starting here was how do we see democracy? I think for young people around the world, particularly in places that have low socioeconomic statuses or underserved communities, the idea of diplomacy and democracy is not something that's understood. So education is absolutely key to that. Education, international exchange, and diplomacy are inextricably linked to then understand what democracy is, whether it's disinformation, misinformation, voting, an election. I think that the challenges are young people do not have the voice and the skills that they need to engage in those conversations together. And so understanding what democracy means, I think, is the very first challenge to young people. Mm. Yeah, that's a great point. I you work with an even younger group of, you know, of, of people specifically not, you know, necessarily post-secondary level. Um, what challenges exist there? It's actually the same thing. And so it's wonderful to to understand the common ground and it's, under, it's wonderful to understand how we can potentially address this issue, not just in our country, but globally. But it's misinformation, disinformation, and understanding what democracy is and what does it mean to you and what does it mean to you in your age group and what, how can you impact and how can you affect change in your community by being part of the democracy of the United States of America, being part of a global democracy or a global stage. So it's really understanding understanding and education, what it means to exist in a democracy, and how you are valued and valuable in that democracy. And I think that is a very big disconnect with the population I work with, is the disconnect between understanding the value of and how they are valued as individuals. And it's extremely important. And I, I do think that's where we get lost along the way. And that's where we lose our voting population. And it's where we use our leaders. It's our civic leaders. So sometimes I think that, dis that disconnect grows so wide that then those folks folks actually don't become valuable members of that democracy and putting it forward. It's really interesting to hear, you know, about both of the, pro the projects that you all lead and the, com you know, common factors across them. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, the whole day to discuss. I would love to, but um, maybe I can just, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe I can ask a last question. You know, you're, you still have a few days here in Berlin with the seminar. What are you most looking forward to in the rest of the program? I'm most looking forward to learning. Um, so less talking about my program, which I love talking about my program, and I could talk about it all day, every day. Um, but learning, learning about how other democracies, how other leaders, how other countries around this world engage the population I'm talking about, which is young people and youth, and activating youth voice. So I'm really looking forward to learning and and just becoming better myself and how I can bring that and make my program better. That's great. Uh, Christine. Oh, you took my answer, Katie. <laughs> no, I would say I would say absolutely a plus one to that 
definitely being in learning and listening mode for sure. Um, even the countries and the regions that we do work in where I feel like I have a sense of what's happening, being in the space with these people now, these young leaders across, I think, maybe 30 different countries, I'm able to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. And so I just want to learn the issues that they care about and how the STEAMS initiative can be in support of what they are interested in and bring them into our work. And then I would say mutually, bring them into the network of the Aspen Institute, where all of our work is collectively addressing the challenges of democracy. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for making the long flight over here and bearing with our cold, wintry weather in December in Berlin. Um, have a great rest of the, the time here. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you.